Hello once again, my fellow model lovers. I got a little goodie to show you today. Um, I recently did a video where I introduced you to the MS Pitsudski, a uh, beautiful ocean liner from Poland. In the tragic circumstances in which she was lost, led her to be known as the Polish Titanic. What I like to do is I like to build off that um, little history lesson that I gave you guys. And I want to show you a model that I had gotten. This model, when I had seen this, I really didn't know anything about the ship. But I got to tell you, I just fell in love with the way she looked. Look at those golden king posts, the mast, those smokestacks, and that beautiful design. And that's in tribute to Pitsudski, which is the first marshal of Poland and his battle brigade in World War I. So that's what the front of the ship is honoring. And I just, I loved this picture. When I had seen this, I mean, this was on eBay and this was, geez, it was $19 and 50 cents. And it was free shipping. So this came a long way. This came from Poland. And here in the United States, um, I, I was just, I was happy to get it. It came fantastic. They did, did a good job packing it. And let's take a look at this beautiful ship model. This is from Mirage Hobby. Model, plastic Howie, plastic kit. And this is in one 500 scale. And I'm thinking that this is series six, series six. And this is number 500601. And again, you can see that beautiful illustration of the ship. And show you the side of the box. Let's see if we get a little more information. The set includes decals for one paint version. Um, I'm not sure that looks like it could be the decal sheet. And forms, caution small parts not suitable for children. Made in Poland. DMS. Pitsudski, Polski Static Translantici. I, I know, I'm sorry, I, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that anymore. Polish Transatlantic Passenger Ship, PN 91N08540 and SWW 2822413. Let's see if there's a date. Um, we got marketing at miragehobby.com for information and I don't see a date on here if I find one I'll put it up we might see it on the instruction sheet but this is the side of the box I'll show you the end of the box looks like there's some information on it and you can see it's in a different language and the English version is on the bottom. The MS Pilsudski, the MS Batory sister ship, was launched in 1935 as first of two modern passenger cargo transatlantic ships. Until the outbreak of World War II, she sailed in a line Gdynia, Copperhagen, Halifax, New York, or on tourist cruises. On September 1st, 1939, upon receiving the news of the war, she entered Newcastle, where she was then converted for a troop carrying ship. She commenced her first voyage in a new role on November 25th of 1939, sailing out uh, to join a convoy. And on November 26th, she hit a mine by a German destroyer and sank. Captain Mamert Stankwitz was the sole fatality. And he was the last one off the ship, incidentally. He, um, he was rescued, but he died of hypothermia and exhaustion. So that's one end of the box. Let's show you guys the other end. And it's different. This is similar to the side. You can see, again, that beautiful illustration of the ship. And let's see the other side of the box. We've got a picture of the model. And you can see the bottom below the waterline, they put green, number 500601. 
and you can see the different languages. And find us on Facebook. And there's nothing on the back. So my friends, that being said, why don't we take this over to the desk where there's more light and we'll check out this beautiful ship model. All right, we've got a nice picture of the ship. Again, I just never get tired of looking at this ship. I just fell in love with this ship. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm glad by chance I had seen this model on eBay, actually. I was just going through the ship models and um, I was just attracted to her, fell in love with her, and I had to know about her, so I did the history. And it's my pleasure to show you the model now. So, why don't we go ahead and we're gonna break the seal. It doesn't have plastic wrap, it just has the, um, the tape. there for now and I had wanted to show you the website um, that's taking a while so let's cover that up I'll just put this over it as not to distract the camera okay so we've got a package of parts it looks like there are two parts trees and there are instructions and it looks like there are decals. So why don't we go ahead and show you guys the parts tree. Looks like we can see the deck. Um, this, let's see, might be the promenade deck. And we have what looks like the aft end or the stern. And you can see the, um, this appears to be the wheelhouse, the bridge area. And look at the smokestack. You can see one of the smokestacks. Very nice. You can see the other one right there. And you can see the... This probably looks like it's going to go underneath the bridge house. The wheelhouse. And you can see it looks like this might be the upper deck. You can see some of the detail on it. The, uh, the wood planking. <clears throat> so we'll we'll address that and see what does the other side look like I'm not sure what these pieces are but they're part 39 we'll find out in the instructions I don't know if this is going to have a base um, I'm not sure yet possibly that's what these could be along with that but we'll find out but that looks like it could be a base and is there any writing on this nope Okay, so that's the first parts tree. <clears throat> Looks like there's nice detail in the ship. You can see on the top of the wheelhouse. Nice. All right, I'll show you guys the second parts tree. Actually, there's something in here too. Um, this is, uh, see our fan page and join us, Mirage Hobby, Facebook, Mirage Hobby Official. And I think I'll be joining that. All right, let's look at the other parts tree now. And we got the, the meat of the model. You can see the hull, and this is the starboard side. Looking beautiful. It's gonna be really fun making this. 
This is in 1500 scale, and I believe the ship was just under 600 feet long. I think it was 580 ish, somewhere around there. You can see the bilge keel, and you can see the propeller shaft. She was a twin screw propeller system, and her speed was 18 knots. And you can see the two propellers right there. And I'm not sure if these are davits for the lifeboats. This is interesting if it is because a lot of the model kits, especially around this scale, you, um, you tend to see the davits and the lifeboats be part like one piece. But with this one, you can actually see where it looks like the davits are individual but we'll see in the instructions. And look at the, the uh, detail on the lifeboats. Very nice. I think she had 14, let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, six on either side, plus the two. I don't wanna, all right, I don't know. Not official yet, so. I don't know the official number. You can see the um, the beautiful mast. And it looks like it could be the rear mast over there. You'll see in the instructions. And over here. Um, let's see. This looks like... Again, this looks like it could be the stern section. Or the bow because it's got more of a wider <clears throat> point of the bow so this could be the forecastle again we got some detail on there to paint up and I use as many pictures of the actual ship where we can uh, make this as accurate and as historically accurate as possible and you can see the other part again this looks like it's more the stern but again, we'll find out in the instructions. Look, you can see the anchors. And we can see some of the, uh, the vents over there. And let's show you guys the starboard side of the hull. Beautiful. See, I'm tempted to drill out the holes and light the ship. I just love lighting things, and we could use the um, the button batteries, the button battery uh, power pack on this, and it might be uh, might be fun. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But this is going to be a really fun ship to build. I don't know about you guys, but I love learning about new ships and uh, history. In this case, we learned about Poland's history, some of it, and their first marshal. He was the one that inspired the name of this ship. Look, you can see the um, where the propeller shafts are gonna go, the propeller shaft housings. It looks like we have a boat deck over here and we have more lifeboats. So there's two major trees. Um, actually, there's only two trees. And let's take a look at the, the uh, decal sheet. They got it stapled on so let's make sure to take that off carefully Okay, so looking at the decals, huh, I thought I was going to have to paint that. Look, they have a beautiful decal of that part of the ship in the front. It's just gorgeous. Nice. You can see we've got the, uh, the vents on the smokestacks. Would have been nice. I did the SS United States. It would have been nice if they would have had decals for that because I did it and it looked kind of sloppy. You can see the... Um, the Gdynia line that's going to go onto the smokestacks 
and we've got the flags and you can see the uh, ship's name hopefully you can see the ship's name let me show you guys the sheet let's take it out of the plastic so there's no glare on it nice want to get a, a nice shot of that beautiful decoration that's going to go on the bow section nice okay the last thing in the box we have the instructions the ms pilsudski and there's some information on here the history uh, let's see if it's the same thing as i read to you earlier in order to save profitability of the North American line and change its profile from immigrant to tourist oriented, uh, immigrant to tourist oriented, Virginia America Lines decided to build build new liners. Italian Monfalcone Shipping Company was selected. The contract called uh, for two passenger ships similar to the to the Italian Victoria. Heel for the first ship, the MS Pilsudski, was laid on March 1st, 1934. Reception of the ship took place on August, uh, in August of 1935 and was carried out by Captain Mermit Stankwitz. The ship came to Gdynia on September 12th, 1935, carrying a group of tourists. And after three days, she sailed for her maiden transatlantic trip to New York. The Polish liner was greeted there with applause. However, the Atlantic put the ship specifications to a very hard test. During her second voyage, Pitsudski encountered a heavy storm which revealed lack of stability. Conclusions drawn from this led to improvements in the second ship, the MS Batori. Pilsudski was also modified to improve stability and he's changed the external appearance of the bow part. Until the outbreak of World War II, the ship was employed en route Gdynia, Copenhagen, Halifax, New York on a tourist cruise. On September 1st, 1939, upon receiving the information of war, the ship called at Newcastle, where she subsequently converted for troop transport duties. She could carry approximately 2,000 men. Pitsudski left for her first voyage on the 25th of November, 1939 to join a convoy and on 26 of November she hit a laid mine by German destroyers and sank. Sinking con continued for five hours and the crew was evacuated during that time. Captain Mert Stankwitz was rescued from a raft but later was taken on board a British ship and he died due to exhaustion. The wreck site of the Pilsudski lies at 53 49.3 degrees north and 34 degrees east, if I'm reading that right, or 53493NO34E. Specifications, the Pilsudski signed SPED, a passenger mixed cargo ship. The shipyard was Cantieri, Rioniti, Del, uh, Adria, Adriatico, Monfalcone, Italy. Keel laid March 1st, 1934, and the launching was on December 19th of 1934. Shipyard acceptance, 22 August, 1935. <clears throat> give some information about the ship herself. She was 14,294 registered tons, 8,168 registered tons net. Useful load, 5,560 tons. Her overall length was 160.4 meters and she was 21.6 meters wide and her draft was 7.5 meters. She was powered by two 12,680 horsepower nine cylinder Sulzer engines, two screws, speed 18 knots. Crew approximately 340 and 773 passengers place. 371 tourist class and 402 third class. Four cargo holds and seven decks. And you can see Mirage Hobby UI Tilneka 
3602621 Warsawa Polski. Uh, Polska, excuse me. You can see the information. All right, let's see how we put this beautiful ship together. This is pretty straightforward. And let's see, all the instructions are in Polish. That's okay, because it's pretty self-explanatory. You can see the step one. And we're putting the hull together, and we're gonna put the decks on, and that was a stand or a base. And that's actually gonna be perfect to put the, uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I keep, I started out with these, the battery holders, but these could be appropriate for that, depending on the size. But let me show you another type that I have for smaller areas. I have these that run on the button battery, and these can go into a much smaller space, and we have the switch on the front. Whereas these, these are larger, they take up more room and they're more bulky and clumsy. So I go with the button battery in small areas. So we just may be able to power this, light it up. But that base looks like it would be a good place to put the, uh, the power pad. And you can see we're gonna add, put on the, uh, the propellers and the propeller shafts. And let's see, I'm sure they have a painting guide. Um, I'm just not sure where, where it is. Is it on the box? Are we <clears throat> go by the side of the box because I know beneath the waterline is green. And you can see we put the anchors on as well. Okay, so we move on to the second part. And we're putting on the smokestacks, uh, the wheelhouse, putting on the, um, the boat decks where the, beneath the bridge area or the wheelhouse area. And you can see we're doing a promenade deck. And that's all going to go in place. It looks like we're putting on which, what could be a vent, I'm not sure, or a crane. Same thing at the aft end. And let's see, in this part, or step three, you can see by this time we're putting on the boats, the uh, lifeboats, and I guess those pieces are one piece for the davits. The decals also are shown on step three, and you can see the, uh, I think these are the painting guide we can put the vents that are going to go on around the smokestack areas and on the top uh, parts of the ship and you can see how it's got some of the rigging and the cranes that are going to go on with the king pose and of course this is all yellow look really really nice you can see the flags that are going to go on. And we do have the color code. So <clears throat> we're going to need green, yellow, brown, copper, light green, signal yellow, gloss white, light yellow, black, mahogany, and gray. So those are the paints we're going to need, the colors. <clears throat> but I want to try to paint it. it. You know, it's hard to find colorized pictures of this because um, when I did research on making the history of this video for this ship, um, it seems everything that I was finding was in black and white with the exception of like illustrations such as what's on the box. Um, it, it's hard to find colors. At least I'm having a hard time. I mean, I found colors of the Titanic colorized, but I'm having a, fi a hard time finding the Polsudski colorized, but I will find some and we'll use that as a guide. So those are the instructions. 
we went over the, the instructions and like I said, you could check out their Facebook page. I'm looking forward to making this ship model. This is gonna be loads of fun. And let's get the hull back. It's gonna be nice. And again, the size, we'll be able to put this inside or just underneath where it's going to be hidden by the, um, let me show you the first one, it's going to be hidden by the base. So you can see the base is going to be this high and I'm thinking it's going to cradle the ship and this will fit very nicely inside it'll be out of sight and we can actually bring the wires from the ship quite nicely i think it'll work out we'll be if we want to light this because when she sank she sank pre-dawn so it was um probably dark it was november so you know it was fall late november and the daylight is a lot shorter. And we have the little, all the little guides where we can go ahead and we can drill it. And we can light this wonderful ship. And you guys know me, I might even wanna put some lights up on deck. So my friends, if you were curious about this model kit, I hope uh, this satisfied your curiosity. And if you're like me and you like learning about new things, I got introduced to this magnificent lady, the MS Pilsudski. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she's just a gorgeous ship. And it's too bad how she met her end. But this was the introduction to this model. I wanted to do the unboxing. Um, I had wanted to do the history of this magnificent ship before showing you the model, as I usually do with all my stuff. So this project is going to be really fun. And this is one 500 scale, so let me show you guys how long it actually is. One 500 scale, this is going to be from the bow to the stern. It's going to be, let's see, about 12 and a half inches, which is a pretty good size. I was expecting it to be a little bit smaller when I had seen the box, but this is going to be really fun. This is a great size. So my friends, until we start the build, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.